So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Damning new claims from Prince Harry, now accusing his brother, Prince William, the future king, of physically assaulting him. This is according to reporting in the Guardian newspaper in the United Kingdom. It reports uh, from Harry's book, Spare, that comes out next week, that the two princes confronted each other at Harry's home in 2019. Harry writes that William called Harry's wife, Meghan, quote, difficult, rude, and abrasive, and then later grabbed Harry by the collar and threw him to the floor. Uh, CNN anchors Max Foster and Bianca Novolo join us now. I mean, wow, guys. I, get, I mean, wow. the, the Guardian says this is in the book. Um, and I want to read you a little bit more from it. Harry offers... Will, so, so this is... Apparently, Harry says this altercation ensues. Then Harry offers William some water, and this is what happened. Quote, he sat down the water, called me another name, then came at me. It all happened so fast, so very fast. He grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor. I landed on the dog's bowl, which cracked under my back. The pieces cutting into me. I lay there for a moment, dazed, and then got to my feet and told him to get out. Um, he goes on to say that later, William came back and apologized. Yeah, I mean, what I will say is, I mean, all of this is coming from Harry's point of view. William's side not saying anything about this. They're not addressing it. This is part of their, you know, policy, really, with all of these revelations. So we've only got Harry's point of view. The other thing I'd say is it is two brothers, and uh, there was tension. I have heard stories about tension. I haven't heard about it getting physical. It doesn't completely surprise me. But, it, I mean, it is a massive expose of that relationship. And um, it's all going to be in the book. What I will tell you as well is that a, another British newspaper has just managed to get hold of a copy of the book, so there's going to be lots of more revelations today, I think. Yeah. I, listen, maybe you guys probably... This is for William or and Harry to answer, but, I mean, why? You, this is what we were talking you, about in the break. I, I don't, why I, put it out there is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, to me, it's just... I don't know. I mean, I, look, I, we have... Everyone has a family. I have arguments in my <laughs> family. Am I going to put that out there for the whole world to see? I just don't understand why on earth he would want to put that out there. I know he's selling a book, but to me, it's just... Um, what is the word that I'm looking for? It's just not done. You know? I well, don't know. Well, that's, that's the question that a lot of people in the United Kingdom and further afield gauche are asking. Gauche is the word. Sorry, especially... Bianca. It's gauche to me. That's the word. It's just not done. Sorry, go on. Because especially when you consider that Harry, in these interviews, which were pre-recorded before the release of the book, which is upcoming, he says that he wants his family back, that he wants to have a father and a brother, and that his door is open. We've just heard him say that quote in a trailer that's just been released by ITV, which has conducted one of the pre-recorded interviews. So especially if he genuinely does want to have a rapprochement, wants to rebuild those relationships with his family, it's definitely an interesting strategy, but he said also that he doesn't think that being silent will make anything better. But when you combine that with the level of allegations and these reports in the book, as you said, wow, they are dramatic, you do wonder how he thinks that could be achieved. And what, and what could be achieved? What, is, what, what exactly is he achieving by putting, by airing family dirty laundry? That's a question. That's, I just, that's well, it. it. Yeah, well, a huge amount of frustration is built up. Uh, he talks about... Um, not being able to control his narrative. So the palace controlled his narrative. If you look at the book, as I understand it from people who've managed to get hold of it, is it's all, you know, it's called Spare, and it's all about his frustration with being the spare heir, always running second, and that was accentuated when Meghan came in as well. The reality is, it is, he is, he was a spare, it is a hierarchy, that is the, you know, the system, the monarchy. So he's, he's got an issue with the monarchy system, effectively. Um, I mean, William's side would say he did always try to give Harry, an, uh, you know, an elevated role, um, but Harry didn't feel that, and he, he, uh, the way it trans, you know, the way it plays out is that if there are briefings, they tend to fall on the side of the more senior royal, and that's what frustrated him. So he is trying to put everything out there in his own words on these various platforms. But, you know, he's controlling the narrative as he wants it, but we're not getting William's narrative anymore, so... It's also culturally and historically, it's very common for the mm -hmm. person who is technically the spare to feel frustrated or for that to be a difficult relationship to manage because what is the responsibility, what's the role? Sometimes they want quite a bit more 
opportunity and want to be able to have more freedom than the mainstay of the palace would like to allow. So it's not the most unusual thing for there to be resistance in this dynamic. And it's certainly something which Harry, as a member of the royal family, would have known about and would have, you would presumably think, would expect. OK. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll kind see. of at a last for fine. word. We'll see. I mean, I think a lot of, when people yeah. look at it, I mean, particularly when he talks about Diana, you can absolutely understand his frustrations. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. You can listen. Yeah. You can understand his frustration with his mother. You can understand, you know, if there was racism and they treated her differently. But to talk about a family physical fight to me is just like, I, I wouldn't. I, I, that's just me. I, I would hear not. You.